how are you all how are you guys so hi guys and welcome back to another video in today's video i'm gonna talk about diva curl and tell you the truth behind diva curl or my opinion about the whole matter so basically if you don't know anything about this whole thing um i'm gonna tell you really quickly the whole um <clears throat> dilemma kind of or no the whole problem and first things first if you guys aren't subscribed please go subscribe now and turn on the bell notification to see more of me and more of me sitting on this grandma chair and um yeah i call i know it's a rocket chair but i call it grandma chair anyway and also comment down below where do you come from and also tell me if you have straight hair if you have wavy hair if you have, if you have curly hair so my hair type um as you can see it's wavy maybe i could stand and show you that's, that's gonna be oh shoot <laughs> so as you can see the phone fell but anyway that's my hair it's it's wavy it's not really wavy like some parts are kind of straight but um for the most part i have wavy hair let's get back to it anyway and also guys go follow my instagram the name is gonna be somewhere here and also it's gonna be in the description box so please make sure to go follow me over there and also follow my tiktok account because really soon i'll be doing a giveaway on my instagram so make sure to go follow that and now let's get into the video Guys, if you don't know anything about the diva curl matter um i would say a month ago or a couple weeks ago a lot of curly hair girls if that's what you call them but a lot of you know curly girl aspiring um ladies girls whatever came out and started talking about deep calling out the curls are no more defined their hair is dry and it's just overall damage and it's and they all you know um conclude that this all happened because of diva curl so all these ladies are coming against diva curl and putting all the blame on it and what was really you know what was the spark point not the spark point but what was like really the thing that made this matter go really viral was the fact that the people that talk and spoke about it weren't like only normal people people or like people that weren't really known but actually really 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 big you know curly girls that we as like teens or like we as My people look to have their Sundays. hair so I like asia what it was so india i um, used I more diva curl lot, lot, i put lot, more diva curl on the problem thinking it would fix it not knowing that the problem was diva curl all along product. so now that you know everything about it or like all the background things let's get into the part where i tell you my opinion i tell you what diva curl said so of course after all the hate and all that shadiness diva curl had to come and speak because you know they can't just not just like condone all this because they needed to do damage control so what they did was they posted this i'm gonna put it here somewhere here so you can read it and i'm just gonna tell you what it meant so basically they just said that diva curl is all the products they're now doing is um <clears throat> is medically tested and whatever and it's all safe and it's all good and you know they, they just continued on saying that you know what was meant by that you know they had nothing to do with this or like it's all safe it's all good diva girl diva curl diva curl is good you know that that's what they try to say from this thing that you saw right here um but of course a lot of those really famous youtubers um like asia Malik came out and they were like okay you said this like you are saying that it's tested and whatever but we want the products we used before to be tested because may maybe you changed from the formula or maybe you did something different we want the ones we use the ones that damaged our hair to be the ones which are tested till now diva curl didn't do anything towards this um and they just basically you know i don't know they just did nothing like they did because they actually from the first place they never really reacted to like a person they always just you know did this one statement and um and just like spoke about the whole matter like as a whole but not as a person um and still to now a lot of people are coming out and just saying their terrible diva crow stories and the funny part is not like all the users all the users that have internet access has just posted their photos and everything so it just looks like um 
th there's something there's something going on and also something kind of weird to me is that no actually really weird to me is that all those people just like a month ago or something used to praise this product and now they're all against it i'm not like i'm no way um saying that those people aren't honest or those youtubers aren't honest or whatever because i believe like or i know that a lot of those big companies sometimes do this like for example too faced um and it's candle that that they did um to where it's oh my god i lost words like for example too faced and what they did again is sneaky tutorials and a lot a lot a lot a lot and you know the internet and especially youtube has been a really dark and shady place lately so see like this is kind of something you would expect but anyway for the most part the matter here so like this i told you all the background history and like everything everything that is happening right here and also guys if you want to be a keep if you want me to do another video about this matter where i share my personal opinion you can comment down below and also please comment down below guys what video ideas you want to see next because i do really love hearing your comments and thank you so much for all the lovely comments you left on my speechless video it really means the world to me um and yeah that was the end of today's video i know it's kind of short i usually have longer videos but i just wanted to give you background history and whatever if you're not wondering about my opinion by this point to be honest i never use diva curl so i can't talk from personal experience i don't know anyone who used diva curl so i can't also you know say anything because i didn't see something with my eyes so i just can't talk about this from that side but um there's something just that that's a personal opinion to me i got not really again this but kind of towards the curly girl line and actually you might say oh your hair is not curly so you shouldn't really talk about this matter but yeah i do have a texture to my hair i know some people that have curly hair and um yeah i i, I have a youtube channel so i gotta talk okay i gotta talk <laughs> I, I gotta say my opinion man <laughs> anyway so yeah what i wanted to say was is that i think that the whole idea of just oh, those products for curly hair whatever i feel it's just a big 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 mess because it's just kind of diluting people's minds into buying those products guaranteeing that their curls are gonna be much better i mean i'm not like your curls may get better but that's not because those products have magic in them it's maybe because the product of the products are like i don't know but like i just for my opinion i think that this is a big scandal the whole curly girl girl thing and i think that just a couple months later uh your months later you're gonna find a lot of other curly girl girls just coming out and talking about those other products because in my opinion it's just a big scandal and there's really it's just, it's just a waste of money for my opinion so if you're a, if you have curly hair you just don't need to go and be like this is gonna guarantee curls you can just take care of them not use heat whatever but just those products ain't magic you know that's my personal opinion um but if you're wondering now if i think the diva curl the company should be shut down or you shouldn't buy curly hair you know products that say that they are for curly hair i'm not saying you shouldn't but at the same time you shouldn't just support them unconditionally like I, I honestly don't know but just that's my opinion that's my point in it don't take my words for like don't take my words to just do by them because you are you that's just my opinion and also guys i'm not against anyone that came out because i do support them it takes a lot of courage to come out and be against a really huge big company like diva curl it's like a tremendous company it's, it's really big so it takes a lot of courage to do this and i'm i support all the people out there and also if you have curly hair i love curly hair I adore curly hair. No, I do really love curly hair. But anyway, that was it for today's video. Um, I hope you like it. If you did, please like and subscribe and comment down below. And see you in the next one. Bye.